and welcome. I'm Joey Bridges. I am joined by my proverbial partner in crime, James Bridges. For those of you this is your first time with us, welcome. we're twins. Welcome. Okay? Again, just so we get this all straight, smart twin, dumb twin. Okay? That's how this rolls, if you will. Now, this is a kind of a, this is our installment of the Facebook marketing report. That name may change, James, depending on votes. I've we'll see. It. It's all about testing. It's all about testing, and the yeah. latest vote has been the Facebook marketing report. I like that. And here's what we want to, we're going to bring in on the Facebook marketing report. What's working on Facebook, what's working on social networking, what we're seeing on the Internet, uh, as far as working, not working, that's what we're going to bring to you. Primarily Internet, because, well, that's what James and I like to talk about. That's where we want you to, you know, make a piece of your business, a piece of your money. That's what we want you to do. So, um, that, welcome to the Facebook marketing report. Today, uh, here's what we want to talk about, the status of Facebook. And we're always probably going to cover, I say almost always, or almost, I like that. almost, okay. just give a little way out. A little way, a little wiggle room. Yeah, we said almost. Almost. On what's happening in Facebook. Now, James, um, problems you're seeing, I'll talk about Facebook ads and what I'm seeing, but what are you seeing as far as Facebook changing, not changing, as far as maybe fan page, business side? What are you seeing so that we can let everybody know to stay ahead of the curve as things continue to evolve here? Um, well, I will say change is constant. Uh, that's uh, that's for sure, uh, especially in really uh, Facebook that world. Down. Write that down. Uh, I will say on the uh, business page or the fan page uh, portion of Facebook, um, rolled out a number of massive changes um, over the last, I mean, we've probably been hit with about three big changes in a nine-month period. So hoping it stays a little bit more uh, normal so we can get used to it. Um, different ways of doing business pages now um, so you can still get that marketing landing tab in, still get that opportunity uh, to attract people. Um, so it's a little bit more complex, uh, not impossible, but some of the changes are good for the long haul, and you're definitely going to want to jump in because uh, some of the latest kind of dork changes, if you will, are, hey, on the social plugin side, they're now allowing live reporting on what's happening on your website to giving you that real-time data. So very, very important. And you're only getting that, by the way, without going into too many details, if you're putting a business fan page into action. Nice. Okay, so if you don't have a business fan page, uh, well, obviously James just told you that's yeah. a huge reason to know what's going on. The data is going to be king. There's going to be two sides of people. Here's what James and I believe. Haves, have-nots. Haves, have-nots. Okay? Hopefully I got that right the second time yeah. there. Uh, uh, what it is. There's... Business opportunity on Facebook exists. Uh, if you deal with people at all, and you don't deal with giant corporate conglomerations, even though that's people, but you know what I'm getting at there, James, uh, you have an opportunity to capture a piece of the market. So here's what Jane, here's what I'm seeing uh, kind of you know, wacky on the Facebook ad side. Outside of Facebook, and I mentioned this a little bit before in, in certain other videos and information, if you're taking from a Facebook ad and going outside of Facebook, you are m under mega scrutiny. Yeah. Okay. Facebook is yeah. That's my I, magnifying glass. Yeah, Jamie. I, I was looking for magnifying. Yeah, we magnifying. don't have yeah. one around here. I don't know why don't we know. don't have a magnifying glass. Someone send us one, and we will use that in yeah. the video. Thank you. We'll give you credit. Okay. They are under mega scrutiny when you're sending them outside of Facebook. They are looking for does your ad clearly tell the prospect what's going to happen? AKA, if they have to opt in, you better tell them. If you have, you know, it, your ad is over the top. They're kicking it out. They're they're quicker to disapprove on an ad going outside of Facebook than one going in. Let me repeat that. If you yeah, send them to an outside good. website, okay, like your website, compared to keeping them in advertising to your business presence on Facebook, aka your fan page that James just mentioned, Facebook is is I would say almost three times more critical. It's harsh. It's brutal. It seems like a prison sentence. Uh, as far, yeah, prison. 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 Okay, I've never been to prison, oh. but I'm just Seems saying, like a bad place. Seems like a bad place. Just so that's what that place is. So that's what I want you to uh, that's what we want to look at is are you doing Facebook ads and how, you know, critical, how is this thing that's going on here? Uh, so it's key um, from the Facebook ad size to the business page size to um, social plugins and one quick last little one uh, before it goes on um, the Facebook Places platform. If you have a, a retail location or a physical location, um, that one is undergoing a tremendous amount of change. They have a, a new deals type uh, opportunity besides the deals you can normally offer. Yeah, deals. I don't know why it's really called I deals. Like I don't it. know why I use quotes. I don't uh, know, but I liked it. A, a deals kind of blast uh, mentality. Right now, it's only available in like six cities, I think. Um, ranging from like Palo Alto to Austin, um, so generally on the uh, very limited. So if you have a physical store and you're not taking advantage of Facebook, uh, better get in now uh, because you have a unique opportunity to take advantage of their testing uh, with some great opportunities to reach people on their mobile phones. What I'm going to tell you also on a note here, and, and we've been doing like fan pages right now, by their very nature, there's a lot of conversation through the wall, but it doesn't make it quite easy to contact the business owner. I don't know why Facebook made it easy to contact an individual, Mid send yeah. a message, but a business, no. Not sure. If you don't have a contact form, 
okay, a easy to find, easy to use contact form on your fan page, you're literally losing out on money. People want to contact you, but they don't always want to put their business uh, on your wall. So give them a place to contact you. Give them a contact form. You know, give them, uh, maybe it's a report, maybe it's a contact, maybe it's something of value. Encourage them to contact you, okay? You want to stir this conversation toward one thing that James and I care about, sales. That's all we care about, you know, for your business on Facebook is generating sales. Any final thoughts, James, on our Facebook marketer report, this update that we're doing here? Well, pick something to focus on, uh, whether it's, uh, hey, launching some new Facebook ads, getting more out of your fan page, or, hey, if you have physical education, taking some time to review Facebook uh, places. Um, Facebook is a, becoming a massive, massive marketing platform. There's loads of opportunity. Those are just three that we spoke about. But pick one and really put it into action. All right, so this was our edition of the Facebook Market Report. We are, you know, encourage you to come, encourage you to ask your questions, and we look forward to having you. All right, on behalf of James, I'm Joey Bridges. To your success with your Facebook marketing efforts.